The freehand tool allows you to draw shapes like you can with a pen or pencil. The toolbar contains a number of settings for this tool. By default, the Auto Weld, Auto Fill, and Auto Stroke options are checked. The Auto Close option is unchecked. Make sure you're drawing at frame 0 when you draw. The tool will not draw on frame 1 or above. Also make sure that you have the correct layer selected before you start to draw, and that it's a vector layer, or this tool will be disabled. Expand the Freehand Options menu in the toolbar. You'll notice some variable line width options that control how the strokes respond while you draw. Uncheck the Taper Start and Taper End options to create blunt ends on the stroke. Check these options to create tapered ends. With None selected, your stroke will maintain the same width throughout. If you have a tablet, choose Use Pen Pressure. The amount of variation is set in the Width Variation field. This will vary the width of the line depending on how much pressure you put on the pen. To vary the stroke width while using a mouse, choose Random. You'll notice the line will get thicker and thinner as you draw. Click your mouse to begin drawing. Draw a shape and then let go to complete the shape. You'll create an open curve. You won't be able to fill open shapes. Check the Auto Close option and draw another shape. When you release the mouse, the end of the stroke will automatically connect to the beginning. Auto Close is handy because you don't have to move your mouse exactly over the beginning of a curve to close it. Auto Fill and Auto Stroke work exactly the same as they do with other tools. If you turn Auto Fill off, the tool won't create a fill. If you turn Auto Stroke off, the tool won't create a stroke. You set the Fill and Stroke colors with the color picker in the style window. If a shape is selected, the new style will be applied to it. The style will also be applied to the new shapes that you draw. You can also add onto shapes with the freehand tool. Turn Auto Close off. You'll see a little red dot when you move the cursor over a curve. That shows where the new curve will connect to the existing shape. After you draw the shape, you can use the Transform Points tool to refine it. Continue to add shapes with the Freehand tool, and then refine them with the Transform Points tool. Choose File Preview, or press Ctrl-R on a PC, or Command-R on a Mac. Anime Studio will then produce the final output, or render, in a separate window.